Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Cooker and I'm a senior at NSU University School. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit about the AP2D design portfolio that I created this past school year. Over the course of the 2020-2021 school year, I investigated how to unify communities with differing perspectives entirely through food. Eggs, though pure in genesis, are shelled, close-minded. Tea is inviting. We test the waters before breaking our biased exterior. Finally, bread represents communion. It stands for fellowship and the honest exchange of intimate ideas. In this series, food is a vehicle for exploring the causation, indoctrination, and elimination of bias in society. I was inspired to explore these topics of unification in response to rises in anti-Semitism, racism, and political polarization in our currently divided America, in hopes of encouraging healthy tolerance, respect, and amalgamation in both my local and national community. My portfolio tells a story. Each work feeds off the other to show progression and growth of the concept of unity. To begin my investigation, I started with humanity in its purest form, birth. Eggs, in their genesis, represent the untouched purity of a newborn child before it has been tainted by the biases of its older generations. The water being poured over the basket of multicolored, multiracial eggs is symbolic of the Christian ritual of baptism, which represents rebirth, renewal, purity, and virtue. I use photography to capture this moment to relay the ephemeral nature of our fleeting innocence. In this triptych, torn bubble wrap and a syringe serve as metaphors for faltering protections and a penetrating indoctrination. The vulgar quality of the hand-drawn scratch marks engraved into the egg photograph reflect the crudeness of the stereotypes which they form. This work shows how the eggs, innocent at birth, are indoctrinated with toxic biases during their upbringing, slowly breaking away at their protective bubbles until they are faced with the unforgiving consequences of bigotry. Here, there is irony in that the watercolor acts somewhat like the water in the first egg work to serve as a baptism, or awakening. Renewed by this sudden stroke of consciousness, these cracked eggs are no longer protected by their safe bubbles, and instead have a newfound awareness of the bigotry which permeates society. No longer hiding in our shells of ignorance, we are enabled by our awareness to take the first steps toward unity. This journey to amity is investigated further in the subsequent T section of the portfolio. In this work, my process of creating the piece is very important in explaining the idea. I used a rubber masking frisket to create the city grid lines, then washed a black ink over top, and finally removed the rubber to reveal the crisp white lines. This process of creating the city grids from the negative space mirrors the concept that we only know who we are when we know who we're not, hence encouraging people to respectfully and eagerly learn about others in order to better learn about and understand ourselves. I continue the tea motif by calling upon Southeast Asian and Japanese cultures. In a traditional Southeast Asian tea ceremony, guests remove their shoes before entering the tea house in order to be on equal footing with their fellow patrons. This speaks to the idea that, as we share tea, and more importantly, stories of our cultures, we regard one another as equals and quite literally leave our bias at the door. I made this work a diptych to emphasize the separation of these biased shoes from the harmonious tea ceremony, which is crucial in facilitating tolerance free of bias. This next installment speaks to what happens after we have shared tea together. The tea bags, clearly spent, are dripping to create a new medley of flavors. The color wash is an actual tea stain, synthesizing materials and ideas to draw attention to the symbol of tea which guides the investigation. This drawing represents the idea that when we reach out, as the hands are, and learn from one another, we can replace ignorance with understanding. Bound by compassion, we will unite and create a new blend that is truly stronger when mixed together. This sculpture emphasizes the role of tea as an emblem of friendship and unification because the teapot is sewn entirely out of tea bags. Here, line is created by the endless strands of text which wrap around the teapot like an embrace, 
echoing sensations of the great friendships which form when we let our guard down and are willing to both listen and share with others, regardless of their background. The hanging faces in the tea bags represent an uninhibited outpouring of heart, which leads to the development of rapports between people. This massive four foot nine structure, with its 170 diverse faces placed inside tea bags, emphasizes the power of a large and welcoming community. By maintaining a limited color palette and utilizing the design principle of repetition with my line and shape, I create an illusion of similitude, which further establishes this idea of a cohesive, unified body of people. As we shift to the bread section, we finally enter the solution stage in which harmony is realized through an honest exchange between diverse people. In this work, jokingly called baking barriers as a play on the phrase breaking barriers, I collected bread recipes from the grandmothers of several of my ethnically diverse friends. I then sewed my handprints onto the paper. The semi-transparent violin the hands have been printed on represents how people are able to soak in the cultures of others while still retaining their own identity, allowing for multicultural exchange. With this give a little, get a little philosophy, we can bind, as I literally did with thread, our traditions with those of others to balance harmony and diversity. In this work, the act of unbraiding the challah is similar to the act of breaking bread because the loaf is being unraveled. What is significant here is that rather than close the braid and keep the challah within the confines of the Jewish heritage, the unbraided challah is more open and welcoming, allowing people from all ethnic backgrounds to take part in learning about my Jewish heritage. My final piece in the portfolio is an interactive work. Here, the people I break bread with have been photo emulsified onto slices of bread to represent the diverse cohort of companions with whom I congregate. Yet, most eminently, some pieces of bread are adorned with a reflective, mirror-like surface. As viewers walk past my piece, they see their reflection atop the bread with the same prominence as some of my best friends. What this suggests is that truly anyone can be someone I break bread with, because I am accepting of all people. This concept that strangers are as welcome as close friends is a trend I wish to spark with this inviting work. Accordingly, this work advocates for a communal shift in society, which prioritizes equitability, charity, open-mindedness, and fellowship over unchecked ignorance and exclusivity, which cultivate discrimination throughout society. I hope you all enjoyed this sneak peek into the critical thinking and synthesis of materials, processes, and ideas that goes into creating a sustained investigation such as this one. I would highly encourage anyone who is passionate about something to think about the ways in which they can use visual art to express ideas about topical matters in society. And most importantly, be creative and have fun.